Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video. We are back in 7 Days to Die Alpha 18 stable build. We're actually on 18.1 stable build. So this actually came out not too long ago. But right now we are back in the new world that I set up and um, actually got productive overnight. So I just thought I'd quickly show you guys what I've actually done and how I've done it and all that sort of stuff. But just forgive me for one sec, I'm just going to go into here and go back to the default in the gamma so you guys can have a better look and a, bit of, a little bit more contrast into the video itself. Okay, so anyway, with that out of the way, what I'm doing is um, I actually just got the forge as well. So got the forge and the reason for that particularly is I finally got myself the wrench. So in the last video, I mentioned that I wanted to get the wrench um, before... Um, the trader locked me out before the refresh, um, which I want to go out to the trader at some uh, stage today. Don't know if I'm going to do it in this video, so I might save it for the next video. And the reason for that is I want to see what's been um, uh, restocked and what type of weapons and things like that I can get my hands on. And the reason why I'm saying that is I'm going to base uh, what type of restock is available and possibly work out what type of build I'm going to go with with my character and that's the only reason why I sort of want uh, wanted to sort of go down that path fortunately enough I was able to get the uh, steel axe and hopefully that's going to serve me just okay as I'm sort of going along for now until I get a more reasonable weapon that's not going to kill my stamina because right now that's what it's doing um, so I'm sort of trying to um, regain stamina and all that sort of stuff um, and hopefully I don't go into a bit of a hunger crisis so that's the only thing I'm worried about at the moment um, hopefully that should fix itself um, in the interim but for now um, the plan of attack is today is I'm just going to go out on a looting sesh and hopefully you guys will um, come along for the ride and enjoy it as you can see right now I'm actually just smelting a few things getting them pre-prepared when the time comes if I sort of need it so for example um, just getting some crushed sand in there I've got a decent amount of clay going on at the moment this will go um, without a problem and so I can sort of get some uh, glass jars fired up. I might not be fortunate enough to go um, to get them, you know, um, out in my looting adventures. But um, with that being said, hopefully, um, you know, I'll have a generous amount regardless of the fact. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and raid the paper mill today. And I might just go over to the used car lot, uh, used car yard here because I'm fortunate enough to have this uh, next door to me here. So um, we'll go into the paper mill, see what's what. Hopefully, I can get a decent amount of um, uh, loot and experience and all that sort of stuff. I know there's going to be some uh, zombies in here that I haven't cleared yet, so I might come back later on to get all the paper. And so, as so long as I find another trader, I'd be able to. Um, uh, sell it to him. No, no, no. I think I actually just got a few things as I was trying to hit him. Anyway, well, this thing does over 30 damage, so that's the only reason why I'm bringing it with me today. So, and hopefully, this will um, be the weapon of choice just for now until I sort of work out the build. Uh, the reason why I wanted to go into the, um, the car dealership. Is primarily because I want to wrench up as much cars as possible. Why do you ask? Is um, potentially I can get the ability to get myself um, car batteries, engines, things like that. Things I may not need right away, early in game, but th they're things that I can sort of pick up and take to the trader and sell. So that's the reason why I want to sort of go down that way and do that. These are locked. Alright, let's go up to the next part here. Ooh, this is a bit sketch. Alright, let's see if I can make my way this. Beautiful. And... Okay, now I know there's a few zombies in here. So let's just see if I can sneak my way in. If I can get a sneak up on you. Not really, but it doesn't matter. Ooh, why am I missing? Let's just knock you down, come on. There we go. Oh, there's a chin leader. Knock you out. So this steel fire axe is actually working really well. The other thing that's killing me right now is my stamina. Um, so if I can sort of balance this, I think I might be okay for now. 
um, for the foreseeable time, I guess. But yeah, that's it's not something that I really want to rely on, to be honest with you. I really don't want to do that. Um, like, as I said, my main objective is to work out a build of some sort and then sort of take it from there. But I think I'm going to sort of play it safe until I work out what type of um, uh, weapons are available at the trader for me to buy based on what I can sort of get my hands on. Um, when I go wrench those cars up a little bit later, that's probably going to be um, where it's sort of going to um, be, I guess, at the end of the day. But hopefully I'll get something quite interesting. Um, Alright, so, ooh, is that, that is uh, the duck build. Okay, well, let's just use that. I was kind of hoping that may have been, like, you know, the brace mod or something like that. That would have been nice. Um, I'll probably go ahead and pick some of these things up here as well because... These get you some a bit of cloth, which is good. Something that oop, uh, take the chrysanthemum. Oop, another cooking pot. Oh no! Oh, didn't realise that was sort of holding things together. That's a bit weird. Why can't I? Oh, okay. I don't know why I kept on hitting it, but anyway. Um, all right, let's just grab these and let's grab those. Um, Alright, so let me know in the comments guys, um, do you guys enjoy looting videos, what type of videos do you guys enjoy for me to sort of do and showcase to you guys, because uh, I'll do just about anything really, uh, mission wise, um, you know, if you want me to do, you know, non-stop missions, can definitely do something like that, um, but if you guys are really interested in things like looting, I'm happy to do that as well, um, okay, so, I got, let me start, I don't think I've got the... No, that's empty. There's nothing there. Okay, I think we've got everything here. Very good. Let's go up to the next uh, level up here. I think we're pretty much three quarters of the way through, to be honest with you. This here is um, quite one of the easier POIs here. Um, oh, no. Got these birds. Are you serious? Oh, no. Nice. And, and I'm infected. Something that I didn't want to be in the first place, but here we are. Forgot all about that bird. Um, let's just take your feathers. Um, I don't think there's any more that's that, though. Alright, so what I do know is... We've got some friends over here. So if I can get at least a sneak attack or two or... Whore, completely killing one of them. I'm ha super happy with that. Uh, don't expect to get my um, uh, my arrow back for that one there, but here's the loot. Perfect. Um, I don't know if there's anyone else around here. I think that's everyone, to be honest. Ooh, nice and easy. Alrighty. Um, alright, so let's just go ahead and loot some of these things up. I'm hoping I get something out of these. Oh! Are you serious? Oh, thank you so much. Seven days to, go to die, gods. Thank you so much for that loot bounty. That is going to come in so handy early in game. I don't even care what I get here now. If I get food, I'll be happy for that, but if I don't get it, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, th that is so worth it. Oh, yes. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so happy. Yep, I'm so happy. Alright, I think we've cl uh, cleared out this POI, but yes, the turret. Oh, day four, turret. I'm happy. And it's a level two. Ooh, forgot you. What do we have here? Nothing. Okay. Forgive me if I've missed anything, guys. Do apologise, but sort of want to keep everything moving for now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go in here, to be honest with you. There might be another way to get in here, actually. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. I'll just wait for you to come back up. Come closer. Nice. Perfect. Okay. I don't know if, if anyone else is about. 
Hello. Oh, hello. One more time. Oh, no. Really. Um, anything over here? Oh, that was entrance out to there. This is the balcony. And I can either come up here and just see what's what. Just before I loot, I just want to check out what's here. Realistically. Oh. Back where we were. Okay. Does it matter? Um, what have we got in the vending machine though? Alright, so... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so we actually got some food, which is good. So it's good. that's good to know. So at least that way... Um, I've got a source of food if I need something. Uh, what's in this bag? Nothing. Nothing in here. Let's see what's in the fridge. Nothing in the fridge. Cabinet. What have we got? Nothing. Cabinet again. That. Alright. I'm just super happy now that I've got the turret, guys. Now I do need to get all scrap metal as much as possible. So at least this way I can... Um, uh, make use out of this turret thing, so hopefully when I start um, salvaging um, or wrenching out the cars, I'll be able to get uh, more than enough. I've got at least, I've got a good source of um, uh, raw materials coming my way, so at least I know where to sort of get them and find them. What's, what's this? Ooh. Give me some bullets. No, nothing. Okay, anything in here? Got some of that. That's a mine. I don't want to step on that. Careful. What's in here? Nothing. What's in here? Nothing. Close this up for now. Does this lead me out to anywhere? Let's take the sports bag. Suitcase. Not having luck with any of the other little bits and pieces, which is quite annoying. Ah ha ha. Oh my god. I'm so close to being mauled by stupid, stupid vulture. I hate these things so much. And I guess you guys hate them as much as I do, to be honest, but they are such a pain. Alright. Hopefully that's that. That's not all of them. Well, that is all of them, I should say. Ooh. Give me. Thank you. No, nothing. Okay. I guess that's it. I don't think that's... I think that's everything, to be honest. Because that leads into here. Yep, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Alright, so let's get out of here. So like I said, I'm going to probably loot all this later on. I'm not really going to worry about it. I'm actually surprised we've flo uh, flown through this quite quickly. So, um, having said that, I'll probably end up going to the trade and just seeing what's what. Just seeing, you know, if there's anything of interest. Hey. Don't get, yeah, don't get snippy with me. And hopefully we get some decent loot out of these cars, just at the very least. But if anything, I'm happy just to sort of loot what we can. And it's going to go a long way for a lot of things as well. So a lot of these things that I'm pulling out of these things, uh, sorry, out of these cars here, I'll be able to, um, you know, take over to the trader. Now, if I really want to be quick about things, I'm not going to... Um, loot them again or twice over say, uh, kind of thing because as soon as this part here breaks that's it um, it's just going to be scrap metal thereafter so you sort of want to get the cars <coughs> oh, I don't know what's going on, wrong with me here um, you sort of want to get the cars that have either a full body or close to that of a full body or if you can sort of look into the cars if they've got their own inventory Chances are that you might find something um, that is well worth it. So right now, all that I'm getting are springs, mechanical parts, uh, the radiator, as you um, just seen them. But the the potential, if you're lucky, is that you'll be able to get an engine or hopefully a battery. Batteries more, to be honest with you, because they actually sell for a lot more if you're fortunate enough to grab a battery. So, in my other world that I'm playing that I'm mucking about with a few things here and there, um, I managed to get a, um, a purple battery, and that was nearly a thousand dukes. There we go, there's our first battery. And let's just finish that up, just in case. More or less, if, as soon as you've got it, you don't really need to get it. 
um, or keep going at it. So we've got a level 2 there, which is fine. It's uh, nearly 200 dukes, which is good. But whoop, as you can see, I've got quite a bit of radiators here, so 120. Gas cans, they really don't fetch for much, so I'm not going to be really bo bothered about it. The oil's not bad, the mechanical parts are not bad, the springs are not bad, so so, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to scrap a few things just so I've sort of cleared up a little bit of inventory space. I'm still encumbered, which is not ideal, but what can you do? Alright, so let's get over here. Uh, nothing in there, so let's just loot away. But what I'll probably end up doing off camera, I might just uh, wrench all these out later on. Uh, just so I've got all the um, uh, all the spare uh, iron, that's, uh, you know, all the scrap iron that I'll need. So I'll probably just end up doing that. Does, do you work? You do work. Okay. So I'm just making a note of things that I have in my closest proximity. So <coughs> if I can grab you know, certain things, or if I find vending machines that have food. Uh, when I go back to the trader and sell a few things, and I've got all of my bits and pieces in order, at least I've got, you know, some sort of food uh, resource. Uh, duct tape was good to grab, so I'm happy with that. No, 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 what? Why am I doing that? There we go. Um, yeah, so, at least if I don't have a viable source of um, food in, um, intake, um, if I haven't started a farm or anything like that, at least I've got something here that I can sort of, you know, uh, tap onto and just use for the meantime until I get, you know, things sorted out. Uh, looks like I've woken up some people inside, which is fine by me because I sort of want to go in and loot this area as well. Oh, we're on the outside. Ah, I see. Oh, how would you get up there? Oh, probably not the best idea taking these two guys on at once, but, and I'm bleeding, and I'm missing, and I'm stunned, with no stamina, it's a roaming horde, of course it is. Um, you know what, in the interest of um, not using my resources, I may as well die, heal up, and yeah, save on that. So I think that's another little tip if you guys are struggling yourselves. Or if you've only got very little um, uh, resources on you, you may as well just end it. Yes, you will sacrifice a little bit of um, experience at the same time, but oh, you know what? I'm here as well at the same time. I may as well uh, drop a few things off. Yeah, so as you can see, I've got a level 1, level 2 car battery, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, if you don't want to deal with, um, you know, the habit of trying to get your um, food intake back up again, you may as well just die and then regroup, start over again, and away you go. I'm just going to drop everything. As you can see, I've got a few things here ready to go. This is That was primarily for the axe. Um, I just wanted to sort of um, have a few things ready to go before um, I headed out. Uh, for today's adventure, but I'm, what I'm thinking is I might as well just hang on to it for now until I get a bit of um, resources up my sleeve, then I'll be able to um, make better use of that, but yeah, for now we'll just have everything in order as they are um, this wise, I'll take that away um, I might just hang on to the batteries for now, just in case and if I do end up making my way over to the trader, at least that way um, I've got uh, things on hand so, let's see if this roaming horde is still about. We've got an Edgar over here. Uh, let's go make ourselves known to our friend Edgar. Just drop him. Why not? Nice. At least we're getting some decent experience out of this as well. Speaking of which, I've actually gone up a couple of levels, I think. So I should have a couple of points. No, just the one. <coughs> um, so what I'm thinking is... I don't know if I want to do lock picking early on. That's probably one thing I'm not too sure about what I want to do, but um, I've already done that. I've already got Master Chef. I've got minus 69er. Mother load. I don't know if I want to get mother load right away. Um, I think I want to get strength, I guess. 
just get the strength um, attribute up just a little bit because I still don't know if I want to go into the fortitude build or if I want to go into here again like I said it all comes down to what I want to do um, which I have absolutely no, no idea yet the axe right now is serving me good so for now I think I just want to sort of roll with that until I don't know I get something and then sort of take it from there all right so let's come over to here and let's see what's what okay let's loot this I actually want to find a cracker book as well I really want to find a cracker book Oop, miss these guys give me that give me that oh yeah hey yep. okay you gotta sleep thank you very much who else is in here? Ooh, does that work? Ah. But, I can wrench it. Because I know I'll get some forge iron out of it. Mechanical parts. Oh. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm coughing like crazy today. Allergies today, that's my problem. Okay, cooler. And I've got nothing out of that. Anything in this. Okay. Anything out of this? No. Oop, nearly missed that. Nothing out of that. Alright. Like I said, having the the wrench on hand early on is a godsend. At least this way now I know I've got a clear pathway of what I want to do and how I sort of want to do it. Um alright. Can I get into here? Ooh, I've got to work in the stiff toolbox there. Okay, I'm going to wait for you to do your thing. Can I repair you? I don't think I... No, I have not got anything. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's give you a bit of a hand. Come on. Alright. Are you capable of doing, it, doing that on your own? I think you are. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I love this steel axe. So glad I, I got this. Okay. Ooh, I can go upstairs. Alright, I might do that soon. Sounds like there's some zombies up there. Let's see what's in here first. Hopefully something interesting. Okay. Alright. Alright. I think I've got a welcoming party up here. Just hoping there's... <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just hoping that there's no birds up here. Vultures. So far, so good. Okay, I think we're okay. And actually, what I might do is just grab those. Actually, I should have done that with the other one. Okay, let's do that. Let's open up this. Let's grab this. Let's grab what's in here. Nothing in there. Nothing. Oh, where'd you come up from? How did you get up here on your own? Oop. Thank you very much. Um, and I'm guessing if I do jump down here, I might be... I might be... In oh, thought so. I knew it. Oh, I knew it. I don't know why I did that. You gonna come up? Yeah, you are. Come on, one more. There we go. And you drop down. Alright, let's see if I can run out of here. Okay, that was a fun surprise. Alright, look, I think I'll leave it here for today. Appreciate you guys stopping by as always. Um, like, 
If you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button. Of course, hit the comment section down below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you guys are up to in your Let's Plays. Um, any sort of tips and tricks that you have for me, let me know. Um, otherwise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this one for today. But if you do enjoy what you've seen, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, as always, so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty, guys, take it easy. Catch you next time, and bye for now.